Okay, so hi guys, and uh, here uh, here is Windows Wrong, also knows has Slyer Blood on ModDB. So I'm the guy who's creating mods and talking about animation. So you see, uh, you saw my work on YouTube. What what could I achieve on Max Payne while modding? So here, what I'm gonna do is uh, a tutorial with for. Max Payne, uh, Max Payne animation, and Max Payne creating maps. You know, so the first, the first thing I'm gonna t uh, teach you is how to animate. I'm gonna go quick because uh, I don't have a uh, real time, and I did the video before, but that freaking stupid program didn't record the sound, so we saw only image in the video. So anyway, I am a bit mad now because I need to start. At the beginning again. Oh my gosh. Wish me good luck. Anyway, so this is my first tutorial, as I already said on the other videos, but it didn't record the sound. I said, uh, this is my first tutorial, so if I do explain bad things, uh, if I ex do not explain really good, well, you guys just just leave a comment below and just asking me, uh, just ask uh, the thing that you didn't understood. So here we go. So what you need is to downgrade with Windows XP. Uh, it's very important. If you want to create maps and light, see, light them, you need to to, to um, downgrade with Windows XP. If you have Windows 7, what's well, done? You could, you can only, well, just watch the uh, the part with the animation. If you can't. If you can't, uh, if you if you can downgrade to XP, well, see you later, and then uh, you will start the video again. Anyway, so we're gonna start with animation because, uh, <laughs> as you don't want to to format your computer and you want to to animate right now, so let's start with animation. So here we are on my desktop. Uh, we're gonna go on startup, and we're gonna choose milk shape. You need you need to have milk shape. And uh, Max Payne 2 tool model model tool install on your computer, and if you want to do uh, awesome animation, just uh, put uh, uh, just install 3ds Max. But ask someone else for that because I I don't have it. Well, I have it, but someone gave it to me, and the link is dead. Anyway, so we're gonna start with Max Payne 3D. Here you go. Here's Milkshape 3D. What the hell do I need to do now? Okay, so I'm gonna explain you how Milkshapes works. So we're gonna do here on the upper length. So here you have File, Edit, Vertex, Face, Animate, Tools, Windows, and Help. Well, we're gonna first explain what do files do. File is to create a new meshes, open meshes, open animation, save, and save where you want to save it. And uh, this this thing merge is another thing, but I'll explain this in other tutorial because it's kind of you need to uh, you need to understand how animations works with uh, Milkshake Three D. Anyway, so here then you have export, uh, uh, import. Sorry, so. This option is going to be interesting because it's all the format and all the module that uh, w that we can import in Milkshape. So here you can we can import Elf Life CFD, which is uh, which is uh, the gun and the model in uh, Elf Life or Colonel Strike Source because it's the same source. We have Quake Two, Quake Three, blah 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 blah, but. What we want to animate with is Max Payne 2 because you guys always asking me how I am doing my animation on Milkshape 3D. So here you go. We're gonna import. Uh, what we're gonna do is uh, later we're gonna we're gonna import uh, Max Payne 2 skeleton and etc. But I I need to finish to to explain everything. So here now we're going to edit. Uh, you see here undo 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 I know I think you know what it is then you have redo 
I think you know what it is. Duplicate selection. Well, it's what is when when you have meshes, then you want to duplicate the meshes. You just have to select all the meshes, all the vertex, or all the face, and then if it you put duplicate se uh, selection, and then uh, and then you put, you just do a control control V or something like that, like Windows actually. Anyways, so we're back here, and then you have delete selection. You I think you know what it is. Then you have delete all, so you know what it is delete all. Then you have select all, select known, select invert, uh, hide selection. It's going to select the selection and then you're going to hide it. And then when you hide the, the selection or you hide everything, you want it to be, to back. So you're going to do and hide all. And refresh, refresh texture is when your meshes, you, you put te uh, material or texture on your meshes, but uh, you modify the the me the the image or the texture the the material. Like uh, you go on Photoshop and uh, the the material is yellow, and then you change the color, you change uh, into a uh, uh, red. I don't know, and then you put re refresh texture, and then on the program, you're not gonna see the meshes yellow. You're gonna see it uh, red. Well, I think you can understand that anyway. So here. And then we go on vertex. Vertex is a uh, really, really difficult, uh, real difficult. Well, it's easy to use because uh, when you know how to use it. But we're not going to be interested in that because this is modding model. The vertex are for modding models, which uh, is uh, really uh, difficult for me because I did learn how to do that. But I will learn it maybe another day. Anyways, so. Here you have snap together, flatten, mirror back, mirror front, mirror left. Anyway, you have all the thing for the vertex, but you can find other tutorial for meshes. Anyway, then you have faces, which is the same, but this is with the face. The face are a group of vertex, which is making a face. You know, that's difficult to explain because I don't know. And here is what I'm going to learn you how to use that animate. You have operate on select on uh, select joint only. Then you have set keyframe, delete keyframe, copy keyframe, pass keyframe, remove all keyframe, retouch all, and CMD adjust keys. Well, this is CMD adjust keys is for uh, half life and uh, half life animation, etc. And then you have tools, the tools, all the tools that you have on Milkshake 3D. Well, I think uh, people can explain what is then you have window window is a uh, viewport control panel texture coordinate coordinate editor this is really important if you want to texture your if you want to put material and texture on your meshes you have to use this it's a uh, call well has it named texture coordinate editor well i think you know what it is now then you have show message window blah 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 and then you have help well this is not real helpful anyway. <laughs> anyway, so here is what we're gonna do is um is to import the skeleton, uh the model of Max Fane and the weapon model or something else. Well we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to do a shoot animation on Max Fane, which is the most easiest stuff. But it need to it take ages some time but let me show you a work that I've done in the in the past. So here we go. A shoot. I did a M M two forty nine shoot. Here you go. If you want to see, this is the gonna be the final. Well, I'm not gonna do a M M two forty nine animation. So here's the animation. Well, you're gonna say, oh, but this is not animation. This is not moving. Of course, I'm not. I didn't put uh, push the play button. So here you go, play button. Here you go. Max shooting M249 as we wanted. Anyway, so this is going to be the final work that you want to to, to see. You know. Anyway, let's back on win uh, milk shape with nothing. 
and we gonna go to file has has I said import max pain to kf2 kf skd three dot blah 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 and we're gonna go to max pain to dev which is uh the uncompressed uh all the file all the data all the database of max of the max pain game so we're gonna go on game data database uh skeleton if you want to animate with with a mono, you're gonna put female. If you want to animate with max, you're gonna put male, which is which is obviously uh, something. Uh, it's a fact. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so here you have pose max pain, pose male, and skeleton male. Skeleton male is not gonna be interesting for us. What we want is pose male and pose max pain. Pose male is the uh, default skeleton of every AI and every people uh, every bot that you have in uh, in Max Payne and then you have this skeleton for Max Payne which is the one with which with we what uh, with uh, the, the one with what we want to animate sorry I'm not I'm not English I do talk English I'm not I do learn English but uh, I learned French first and I'm Chinese so you know I uh, my par well, this is my life anyway. Uh, pose Max Payne. So here you go. You have Pose Max Payne. Here you go. Here's the skeleton. And you want to import the meshes because you're not going to animate only with that because uh, it's just a bone. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, we're going to import the skeleton, the skin, the skin which uh, the, which is the meshes. So you're going to first going to import this the KF2 file not the SKD SKD sorry you are gonna first gonna put the KF2 then the uh, milkshave is gonna ask you do you want to or do you want to also import materials colors you gonna say yes because uh, it's all the textures and etc then you're gonna import the SKD SKD you gotta tell me what does it serve uh, serve for what is going to do what is going to happen well I'm going to show you nothing nothing so that nothing happened well no that, that was only a joke of course what it do you know when you import only the meshes it's not uh, like uh, if you're moving uh, if you're moving a bone it's going to do that on animation but if you move it but it's gonna be assigned with the model in in animation. Look now in animation, I'm moving the arm and the arm moving. See that? They're gonna tell me what what is the changes? What is the changes? So I'm gonna uh, undo all and I'm gonna start again and show you what's happening. Whoops. I'm gonna show you what's happening when you import the uh, the uh, only the KF2. So here you go. I know it's like ages. I should I should not have to do that, done that. Anyway, so here when I put anim, I'm gonna set the arm, and is the arm moving? No, the arm isn't moving. But before it moves. Because we import the SKDI, which is which what we're gonna do. And now, let's move that forearm. Oh, this is magic. It's m fucking moving. Oh shit, man. Anyway, now you know how to operate, and now you know how to do. So you know what does uh, SKD files have for. Anyway, but you always gonna start with the. Uh, you always need to to import the KFT first because uh, if you import the SKD first, it's gonna assign nothing with because there's no meshes and uh, it's not gonna assign with meshes. It's gonna assign with nothing because the meshes are missed, missing. So don't forget KFT first and then this SKD. So now we're gonna import a gun. Uh, let's do with a. Uh, with a uh, uh, desert eagle, yeah, desert eagle. 
here you go. Oh, there's a Tigo. We're gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna show you a trick, because normally you need to animate with the uh, with the skeleton of the gun too. With the uh, because uh, the gun when you shoot the gun in game, you can see the slide moving. What that's that's the same thing. But we're not gonna do that because we don't want and uh, has its third person, and we can do that later. I prefer to do that later. So. The trick is gonna assign this to the gun bone directly. It's much more easier, and uh, and has it's uh, it's much more easier. It's not gonna piece uh, our time. So uh, here we go. We're gonna try to, to fit fit the gun with a hand. Okay. And the gun bone is this. You see this one, this thing, uh, this thing, this thing in red now. Well, this is this thing. This is the gun bone. This is the gun bone, and we get a, uh, we gotta assign the gun meshes to the gun bone. It's like the SKD do, like the SKD do. So let's do this. Let's assign this shit to the gun bone. I'm just kidding. Sorry, this kid I'm watching. I said a bad word, but I think everyone knows it. Anyway, okay. So here you go. I think uh, I think that the the gun is perfectly yeah it perfectly fits with the hand. So we are gonna go on join and we're gonna choose this one. Bipe O one air gun. <laughs> And then we're gonna select the meshes, and we're gonna assign the thing with. And magically, with magic, what will happen if I rotate the 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 arm? What's happening? Uh, oops, I put the jacket with. Uh, only the oh oh the gun is moving. Oh damn, that's insane. Yeah, if you. If we haven't assigned this with the meshes, the gun won't will, will move with the with a with the arm, and that's what we will. What, that's we don't want to, to happen because we want the gun move, and uh, has it more realistic and etc. Well, you know the thing. Okay, so now we're gonna animate. See that? See all the see all the thing. Now we're gonna rotate everything. Okay, rotate anything. <laughs> we're gonna do the most important thing of the this tutorial: animating, animating. Be sure to go to model and put rotate, push rotate, push the button rotate, and be sure to to put the anim button here down on the uh, on the. On the left corner, uh, right corner, you're gonna see Adam. I'm gonna push this button. Now we're ready to animate. Then you're gonna go, you're going to go to join, and then you see everything. You see every bones, everything that we want to animate. So uh, let's do what kind of animation we're gonna do. Uh, fifty fifty cents uh, shoot Dirzer Eagle, like a gangsters mode. Well, let's do that. Okay, so I'm not gonna be a very very precise and very uh, you know things because uh, it's just a tutorial. We're not gonna do awesome animation. So. Yep. Hopla. Voila. Here we go. We're gonna move the head. Well, you have to learn every part of the skeleton. When uh, I didn't show you, but you need to learn yourself. It's better. Because if I tell you everything, 
you will forget and it's better for you to to lear le learn yourself uh, all the part of the skeleton and uh, and uh, it uh, you will see what uh, does it act on and everything anyway so let's get back on animating so we put that we're setting name we have date oh yeah I forgot oh damn I forgot be sure to have this option activate uh, cost you know like operate on selected join only you have to you have this selected if you don't have this selected select it now anyway oh uh, well I can't explain but uh, the weird thing is because it's gonna instead of when you're gonna set keyframe instead of setting all the keyframe all, all on all the join which is not w what we want because it's gonna be uh, it's gonna mess up the, the animation we want to, to to put that and then when you move a keyframe uh, when you move a join only the join is gonna be a sign but as we doing the uh, the standard pose everything is gonna be a uh, it's gonna be selected and then when you're gonna move on animation it's gonna only select the uh, the uh, the uh, bones who are moving which is really good anyway uh, so Max Payne shooting like a gangster damn it never saw that uh, here you go So we're gonna put standard pose down. Okay. Well, I need to do it. It need to looks like a human move. Human, human moves. Okay, so we're gonna put the, the legs. I'm gonna move the legs because it looks like rubbing for me. So yeah. Jackets, where the jackets are. Okay, I am sorry, I'm silent because I'm concentrating, <laughs> I'm focused on the animation. But you can see what I'm doing, which is good. Okay, so now, uh, oops, I forget something. Voila. Here you go. Here's Max Payne holding a gun like a gangster. But this is not animation because the gun is not moving. And uh, in movies, if I remember how gangsters are shooting the guns, um, I think the guns move like this. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, always refer to real reality. If you refer to something not real, like the, 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 the you have an awesome huge recall. This is not what we want. We want a realistic one. Or if you want to play with animation and you want something fun, you're gonna mess with the skeleton and uh, well, it's whatever you want. But I want something realistic for me. So here we go. Here's Max Payne holding the gun, ready to shoot. So here we go. We're gonna move at about one, two, three frames, and uh, we're gonna select the thing which is moving first so if if I th 
if I see that correctly, I think it's the the hands moving first because um, the hands moving first because it's the first thing to react. Then you have then you have uh, the arm moving just a little bit. Okay. Then, then it's gonna follow with the oh shit. Then it's gonna follow with this. Your head is gonna be a bit uh, much down because you know, the recoil is awesome because it's a desert eagle. Then your jacket is gonna move a little bit because you shot and everything is moving now. It's gonna go straight forward. Two. Here we go. Back high. Okay. Then you gotta gotta move a little bit. Move a little bit behind. Oops. Rotate on again. And yeah, try to refer a bit with a uh, with with uh, with animation of Max Vane. I do sometimes because I see that what they are doing to 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 make the animation look like good. So. I did watch this. Okay, so here we go. Ooh, looks a bit shitty. Well, oh no, it doesn't look shitty at all. Okay, then we're gonna take the standard pose, move it about. Well, this is gonna be enough. Then I'm gonna protect this. Okay. <laughs> well, it's not really good, but you get the idea. Look, look how does it look? You you have max. Well, if you want to, if you want to to hide the skeleton, you're gonna select. You're gonna put join. You're gonna do this. You're gonna hide selection, and then you're gonna maximize, and then you're gonna see in 3D what's happening with the animation. So you see, I. It's not a really good animation, but it's moving. <laughs> so. Uh. I think now I can correct it. And I think the form need to be to move just not a bit more because uh it's not really good I think. So when he shoots and then the form needs to do that just a little bit because it's desert eagle we don't need to face on face, so <laughs> in slow motion. <laughs> so I'm doing a quick animation. To, to show you how it does milk shape works and here you go here's the animation well it sucks of course but you get the idea here you go anyway so I hope you guys like this tutorial well I'll do I'll do the, the, the max pain to the max pain to 
uh, map tutorial another day uh, maybe this weekend well we are Tuesday which is really boring anyway so now you get the idea I show you how it works and so here you go I think it's kinda good no so if you wanna show you if you want to to see a real work about me here you go even if this animation sucks a little bit but I need to fix some some error but uh, I think it's kinda good but the shitty stuff in a Max Payne 2 animation in a Max Engine that you can only put one animation not like in Counter Strike you can put different shoots anyway so thanks for watching and see you on the other tutorial which I will upload soon thanks for watching and see you guys later whoops how do I pose that? Oh.